Okay, this is a review of rearranging equations. It is a culmination of a lot of things that we've done in units one, two, and three will be used in unit four. You need to be comfortable rearranging equations, and we typically are solving for the variable y. So we're gonna use this equation, 3x minus 4y equals 16. What do you already know about that equation? What form is it currently in? Yeah. It's in standard form. If I was asking you to just graph this equation, you could use the cover-up method and find its y and x intercepts. But that's not what I want you to do right now. You can use that later to check your work, right? If you're graphing this, you could do that. But what I want us to do right now is solve for what? y. I want you to highlight the variable that you're solving for. What variable are we solving for? Okay, just circle it or underline it with your pen or pencil. Now I'm gonna go through this problem with you, but these directions are to remind you of the steps for solving any equation for y. And so I want you to know when you turn the page and you're doing the problems inside as practice on your own in a couple minutes, you wanna follow this order. Use a distributive property, if necessary, to get rid of any parentheses. Do we have that here? No. Open it up and see if there are problems you'll need to do that with. I see it on the first problem on both pages, do you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Second step, use addition or subtraction to move entire terms to the other side of the equal sign. We're solving for y, so we're gonna need to take care of the x term first. What do I wanna do with it? So show me your work. None of this should be in your head. The common mistake I see people make at this point is ignoring the fact that there is a negative sign in front of this four. Please make sure as you're making these adjustments, you're not losing your negative signs. That would change the result. Now we're at a place for the last step. Use multiplication or division to get rid of the coefficient in front of the variable you're solving for. The variable we're solving for is y. What's the coefficient in front of it? Four. Negative four. So we're gonna use division Remember, when we add or subtract a term, we're combining like terms, but when we're multiplying or dividing, we have to do it to every single term. Negative four divided by negative four <coughs> gives us a positive, invisible one, leaving us with yeah. y. Negative three divided by negative four? Positive three over four x. And positive 16 divided by negative 4? Negative 4. Negative 4. And that is our solution. So we're taking them from point slope form or standard form, and we are putting them in slope intercept. Y equals mx plus b. Okay, I'm going to open this up. There are six problems on the inside to try. All of them you're solving for what variable? Y. And we will be gluing this in with our divider tomorrow.